I share with you delightful, family-friendly, and faith-based movies and television shows. So we're going to go ahead and get into our special feature today, which is titled God's Not Dead Part 2. And you can actually find this film streaming right now on Great American Peer Flips. But first, let me tell y'all what this film is about. High school history teacher Grace Wesley comes under fire for answering a student's question about Jesus. When Grace refuses to apologize, the school board votes to suspend her and threats to revoke her teaching certificate. Forced to stand trial to save her career, Grace hires young lawyer Tom to defend her in court. Tom devises a powerful strategy to show the jury the historical significance of Wesley's classroom discussion. Friends, I have watched um, God's Not Dead with the first one and I just remember I watched it um, many years ago, and I remember how powerful it was. It was so just amazing, just breathtaking, and I'm just getting around to watching part two, and I have to say that you know how it goes, y'all, for um sequels. Sometimes the second one is not as good as the first one, but in this case, I can say it's just as powerful, it's just as real, and it left you just as like, oh, I have that feeling of... Oh, you know, and yes, you are rooting for the characters here. Grace, such a wonderful teacher, just has that presence about her. Not only just being that kind and that gentle and meek spirit, but also that kind of person that seems like it's very easy to open up to. So it makes sense while her um while her students would feel comfortable enough to ask a question that is so personal it is so it shouldn't even be this way really y'all like i mean like years maybe decades ago it wouldn't have been such a big deal to ask a question what a person may call a religious question you know i don't really like the word religious here but it's like for the sake of understanding i'm using that word it shouldn't even be such a big deal to ask any kind of question i mean long as it's nothing like you know kind of you know inappropriate as far as putting somebody down or just saying something that is very you know gross and disgusting but something as significant as this a question about Jesus shouldn't even be a problem you wouldn't even think however we're living in a time even more so now and I know this film hasn't just came out this year but it just um proves the relevancy of this film that even years from now how major this theme would be and how you can still gather those jewels from this film because even looking at it now in this time where people get so offensive when you use the word Jesus it's one thing to say God I think everybody feels comfortable and when I say everybody I'm just talking about people in general feel comfortable when you use the word God because they really don't know what God you're talking about you probably could be talking about their God as far as they're concerned because everybody got to make everything personal nowadays boy as soon as you mention the word Jesus this is like taking a stand literally even in the midst of just um, having a simple conversation it's not even that you're trying to be preachy or any of those things but just mentioning his name in the midst of a conversation in any type of environment you can you can feel the shift in that environment like seriously people get offensive for whatever reason i mean we don't get into all details about that but y'all know how it go because i'm sure many of you who are watching this video probably went through something similar like this you know just naming the name of christ there is a problem and you are taking a stand whether you know it or not when you name his name or talk about him in any kind of way all right even in something in the midst of a simple conversation just asking a question and that's all this student really did here she is you know lost her brothers her brother excuse me many months ago and she's just discovering now that he had this bible all in his while so this is really like almost like I guess like it's something that connection for her and her brother. She misses her brother. She doesn't understand why this is has this has happened to him, why she lost him, and yet this is what he left behind. So she is connected to this Bible. She wants more understanding about it. She is just discovering Jesus and 
she feels this pull to continue to read about him like she just can't stop she wants to know more and more not to mention it i guess it's bringing her comfort you know having lost such a great loss and here she is mentioning this in class just inquiring about jesus and she's reading about him and of course this teacher just happens to be a believer and she does make that connection with jesus in the midst what with jesus and with what she is teaching for the course of that day so it's not like she is just kind of deviating from her teaching plan no she just draws in that connection which we can always find a connection with the word of god because it just shows how relevant he is and so this just strikes up a whole ordeal where this teacher grace has to go to trial because apparently this type of thing she should not be influencing as far as the school board goes she should not be influencing students in this way and of course that is not her perspective she does not think that that's what she has done she has uphold her um her responsibility as far as being a teacher and teaching what she's supposed to teach it is not her fault that obviously a student inquires about jesus and she just you know made a connection for the child well for the student so yes y'all she goes to trial and all this whole and that's where it just really gets serious that's where it really you know it's down to crunch time here where the name of christ is really that is really on trial she just happened to be the physical person that people can kind of lash out to but really what they're saying is we want to basically put Jesus on trial again as if he hasn't already been on trial and lost his life and all that kind of stuff which is very appropriate with us going into this Easter weekend so I just thought that the relevancy of this film was so amazing I was like yes I have to share this with y'all which you know with Easter being you know right here and all that kind of stuff so I just thought that this would be a perfect reminder for all of you out there who want to just take a dive back into you know watching a film that really connects us in the world that we're living in right now with the significance of the cross and how much that does makes a difference even in our lives today y'all okay so as you can tell i was on the edge of my seat throughout this entire film and just feeling for the character grace i just thought that uh, you just feel her just being there and of course as we do as viewers we put ourselves in that situation and just wondering if we can be as strong as she was even though we see these moments with her that she does go through what any human and being would go through you are going through those doubts you're wondering maybe even questioning yourself not necessarily questioning god and your belief in your faith because you know that is as real as it is gonna get but yes you are human and you're going through those emotions she loves teaching and to have all of this stripped away from you she is wondering is this really gonna go down this way am i gonna have to lose it all for christ but in the, the day you know she's made that decision obviously that's why she's there if she has to lose it all she will but of course you know you still feel for her and just knowing how hard she worked and it's just not fair so i'm just gonna leave it at that y'all know i said a lot but it just really brought me back to that moment i'm just like grace oh my goodness girl i feel for you but it does make us wonder what makes me wonder now with the life that we're living and the times that we're in and what we're going to be facing going towards the future can we be as strong as this character grace are we willing to lose it all for christ because he certainly lost it all for us all right <laughs> leave it at that and so that's really how i'm gonna wrap up this review but first i'm gonna leave y'all with a scripture okay because y'all know how we do so we're gonna be coming out of deuteronomy 32 4 and it reads the lord is your mighty defender perfect and just in all his ways your god is faithful and true he does what is right and fair so that friends conclude this video please do not um forget to leave your comments your thoughts prayers anything that's on your heart that's respectful at all times of course please remember to leave that in the comments and until next time may the lord bless and keep you both now and forevermore